Hi, I'm John Boehmer, and in this quick help video, I'll be showing you how to rehost a Continuum virtual software license from a licensed machine to an unlicensed host. Before we can begin the rehosting process, we need to check a couple of things. First, verify that both hosts have the correct version of the HASP runtime executable installed. Next, reference the Sentinel web page to confirm that the license is in fact rehostable. Once everything is in order, we will install the HASP runtime on the destination computer, collect the fingerprint information from the destination host, apply that fingerprint file to the license host machine, there generate a transfer file, and finally, we will complete the process by applying the transfer file to the destination host. The first thing we want to do is to check to see if we're ready to do the license transfer. So we go to the Program Files Continuum folder, and we look for Hath Runtime for Continuum EXE, and check the properties. We want to see version 7.51 or greater for this file. So we're OK here. Next, we want to open up a browser session, and we want to browse to the local host with a port of 1947. This will bring up the Sentinel license admin page, and under Sentinel keys, we can see that the key on this machine is a hast SL admin mode rehostable license. So it's transferable. So at this point, we want to go to the host, which will be receiving the license. And we have our Rust utility executable, which we've downloaded from Exchange in the virtual Continuum software licensing install pack. We've also installed the Hasp runtime for Continuum from the install pack on this machine. So we'll go to the transfer license page. And up here is the collect information about recipient computer section. This is the computer that will be receiving the license. So we specify the file name that we'll be saving the information to. And I'll call this destination host PC. And we'll save this to the desktop so it'll be easy to find. Select Collect and Save Information. That'll bring up a confirmation box. And we can see on the left that the recipient information file is there. So we want to copy this off and move this to the machine that's already licensed. So here we are back at the licensed machine. And I've copied the destination host PC information to the desktop. And again, we'll run the Rust utility. When that comes up, we'll select the transfer license page again. And we can see that there's one license shown on this machine. So we'll select it. Then we'll go grab the recipient information file here. And then we'll specify the transfer file name. This is the file that contains the license and the information about the recipient. And it is in H2H format. So we'll Select Generate License Transfer File. There's a confirmation. And as we can see, our transfer file is on the desktop. We want to copy this and bring this to the recipient machine. So here we are once again at the recipient machine. 
I'm pasting the transfer file to the desktop. And once again, we'll run the Rust key utility. But this time, we'll go to the Apply License File page. This is the page where we would normally apply a V2C file if we were licensing this machine for the first time. But here, we're going to select the transfer file that we generated. And this window will show you information about the host machine and the recipient machine, as well as the vendor ID and the HASP ID. Once we apply the update, we should see, after a few seconds, a success message. This machine is now licensed to run Continuum. So to summarize, we installed the HASP runtime executable on the destination machine. We collected the fingerprint information from the destination PC, applied that file to the host PC, and generated from it a transfer file, which we brought back to the destination machine and applied. That completes the rehosting process.